So how come the angels weren't present in Uhud? Or were they present, but in a certain capacity? Or did they come for some time and then leave after another part of the battle? So where were the Malaika? And this is actually a very instructive part. SubhanAllah, all of the lessons of Uhud also relate to the Malaika, they relate to the angels. And we look at the narrations. So for one, you also have a narration that the Prophet said, Hada Jibreel bi alayhi harb. That here is Jibreel alayhi salam holding the head of his horse and he's ready for battle. So Jibreel alayhi salam was present on the day of Badr and on the day of Uhud, right? So he's with the Prophet وسلم, in battle and even when there is no battle. Now Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu has this narration about the Prophet وسلم, specifically as well in the battle of Uhud. He said, رَأَيْتُ عَنْ يَمِينِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَعَنْ شِمَالِهِ يَوْمَ أُحُدْ رَجُلَيْنِ عَلَيْهِمَا ثِيَابُ بَيَاضٍ مَا رَأَيْتُهُمَا قَبْلُ وَلَا بَعْدِ He said that I saw two men with the Prophet وسلم, on the day of Uhud and they were defending him from his right and they were defending him on his left and I had never seen those two before and I'd never seen them after. And we came to know that that was Jibreel alayhi salam and Mika'il alayhi salam. And in fact, SubhanAllah, even the Prophet sallallahu mentions a moment in Uhud where he said that I looked and it was as if the only two I could see were Jibreel alayhi salam and Talha radiallahu ta'ala anhu, right? So there was a point in the battle where everything as it was unfolding, it was as if I could only see Jibreel alayhi salam and Talha. And we know that Jibreel and Mika'il were present and that was testified to by Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So, the perspective here is important before we continue with what else happened in the battle. Rasulullah always had the angels himself. Okay, he always had the angels himself. But the Muslims collectively lost them due to the actions of the people on the mountain. Okay, the people on the mountain of the archers. The Muslims collectively lost the support of the Malaika when they disobeyed the Prophet. And this is very important that even in battle, right? When you say Allah is with you, that means Allah's support is with you and that manifests itself in the presence of the malaika, in the presence of the angels in some capacity, okay? And the Muslims will have Allah with them when they follow the Prophet Wasallam. So because 40 people disobeyed the Prophet Wasallam and came down from the mountain of archers, that led to the entire plot unfolding, right? Where Khalid ibn Walid radiallahu ta'ala anhu at that time on the other side is able to take the disbelievers around the mountain and capitalize on the Muslims being distracted by what? Being distracted by dunya, being distracted by the spoils of the battle because they thought that it was already over. They had seen the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them a quick victory, even over a larger army. The Muslims won the battle of Uhud in the beginning even over a larger army. This seemed to play out exactly like Badr. The difference being that that group of people hastened towards the spoils of battle. And what was worse, honestly, is not them hastening towards the spoils. It's that the Prophet Sallallahu explicitly told them not to. Okay, now Allah forgave them and they are companions. They're not from the hypocrites. The hypocrites already left before Uhud started. They're from the Sahaba, Ridwanallahi alayhim. So it's a lesson for us as to what transpired and what unfolded in that regard. But at the same time, this happened. Now, with the Prophet وسلم, did angels appear in any other fashion? There's a narration from Abdullah ibn Fadl, which is very powerful, that the Prophet وسلم, gave the flag, as we know, to Mus'ab ibn Umair radiallahu ta'ala anhu during the Battle of Uhud. Now, Mus'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu went forth, as we know, and Mus'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when he saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi being attacked, Mus'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu attracted attention to himself. Why? So that the army would come to him. So he started to make a scene where he was, he started to kick up with his horse, and he basically led the army away from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa so that they would descend upon him. And that's exactly what happened. Mus'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, was not only murdered and martyred, but he was mutilated, right? I mean, he was made an example out of in that regard. And this was a huge, you know, morale boost to the disbelievers and it hurt the, the Muslims quite a bit. But something happened in the battlefield as well. And that is that as Abdullah ibn Fadl says, that when Mus'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu was killed, that banner 
was taken by Malakun fi surati Mus'ab. That the banner was then picked up by an angel in the guise of Mus'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So it's as if he was still there and that an angel is now holding the flag and moving forward and he is in the form of Mus'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu and the Prophet sallallahu sees him and says, Taqaddam ya Mus'ab, go ahead O Mus'ab. And the angel turns to the Prophet sallallahu and says, Lest to be Mus'ab, I'm not Mus'ab. SubhanAllah. So the Prophet sallallahu realized Annahu malakun uyyida bihi that he was an angel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to assist him. So one of the honors of Mus'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu is not just that Mus'ab radiallahu ta'ala anhu died in such a brave way and was martyred on that day and uh, is spoken about the way that he was spoken about, gave everything to bring Islam to Medina and gave everything for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and lost his life that day, but that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even honored him immediately after his death while he is a shaheed and he is already taken by the angels because when the shaheed is struck, the malaika take that person, they already see their spot in Jannah. So while he was already enjoying the Naim of Jannah, while his body was mutilated in dunya, as the angels are taking him up, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends an angel that looks like Mus'ab radiallahu anhu to continue to carry forward the banner of the Muslims on that day of Uhud.